they totally match my shirt I'm wearing today. I didn't plan that on purpose or anything. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a really fun Target dollar spot haul for y'all today. This was totally inspired by my friend Melissa, Melissa Parada here on YouTube. She did a dollar spot haul and it just totally inspired me to go and hunt down some goodies and I found some goodies. I went to two different targets. The first one I found a few things and then the second one I like hit the stinking jackpot. They were just setting up the display and it was like a fresh new everything was there display. It was very very exciting. So I found some goodies. Side note my hair is straight today. My hair is naturally straight. I just never wear it straight because it's flat. <laughs> but you know I know it's better to like you know, go with more of your natural style. So my natural hair is straight. So I did it straight today and it is what it is. So yeah, there's that too. So let's get to the haul. So I thought it was really cool. They kind of had different themes of decorations. Like they had some kind of like rustic sort of stuff. That was most of it. It felt kind of rustic to me or classic Christmas or just kind of vintagey looking. So it had a big display at my Target, the, the one that I hit the jackpot at. They had the biggest display of those type of items, but then they also had some kind of like silver and blue kind of things, and then they had some kind of like cream and rose gold and gold. So I thought that was really cool that they are kind of like catering to different sort of decoration styles. So anyway, I hit up the vintagey, country, uh, rustic sort of looking things and got several things from that area. So first off I got a couple of these little sleighs. I think they're so cute. So I got two of them. These were five dollars. I didn't look at the price. I thought that they were three. So when I rung them up and you know went up to the register and they rung them up I was like oh I didn't know those were five. So these are five. But still I mean that makes sense because you know that's a lot of like things going on with it. These remind me a lot of the um uh, skis from last year. I thought those were super super cute So I think that these kind of have that same sort of feel to them Then I got this little sign It says may all your days be merry and bright and it just looks very kind of like rustic and you know Kind of a little bit crackly on the side So it just looks kind of old which I always love that that it looks I like when things look kind of Worn in and vintage and that shabby chic sort of look so this is kind of like going in that direction. So I think it's super duper cute. And then these little wooden triangly looking trees I thought were just adorable and very rustic looking. So I got two of the green ones and one of the white. So at first, the first target I went to, they only had two green and then the rest were white. So that's why I bought two green and one white. And then the second one I went to, they had a bunch, like lots more green, more white. And I was like, you know what? I kind of like the mix of the white um, with the green. So yeah, I like that little like offsetting, you know what I mean? And I think this will go really well with the um, pointy cone shaped burlap ones from last year. I got several of those and thought they were super cute. I have a lot of like burlap um, sort of accents. Well, I'm, I'm starting to get more is what I would say. I like burlap, so I feel like that little burlap tree will go well with these because it has that sort of rustic, vintagey vibe to it. This was the number one thing I was hoping to find when I went there. I was looking around on Instagram and saw that several people got this little truck and I was like, that's the cutest thing ever. I gotta go hunt that down. So I was so excited when I found it. I found this at the first Target. So super, super cute. I just think this has a very vintage vibe to it, but also it reminds me of my childhood. My dad grew up on a farm in Minnesota, so when we would go visit my grandparents, you know, we'd obviously be walking around on the farm and they had different buildings and one of the buildings my grandpa liked to like, I guess work on old cars or whatever. So he had some old trucks that looked like this and it just makes me think of, you know, fond memories. So it's a little bit nostalgic, but also really really adorable. I got a pair of socks that were a dollar and they totally match my shirt I'm wearing today. I didn't plan that on purpose or anything. Maybe I did. So yeah they were a dollar and I really like the dollar spot socks. I think that they're nice. I wouldn't say that they last like 10 years or anything but they last for a good amount of time for being a dollar and they're soft, they're comfortable, I love their different designs that they come out with. Um, sometimes I buy the adult sizes, sometimes I buy the kids, it depends on which design I like better. I wear like a size six shoe, sometimes a five and a half in like sandals. So, you know, 
I can go between both, but these are an adult size and they're just really pretty. And then lastly, I really debated on this. I did not need a bag. This is a little toiletry bag. I didn't need this at all. I have so many little makeup bags, but this pattern, I, I mean, it goes again. I just love this sort of plaid. Is this called um, buffalo plaid? I can't ever, I think it's buffalo plaid, but I just really think it's so pretty. It's got the little handily thing. The zipper works nicely. Um, it doesn't feel, it feels soft, but it doesn't feel like it has a lot of like squishiness, like protection for your makeup or whatever you might put in here. So that's another reason I kind of debated it, but you know, dollar spot, if you don't grab it, it may not be there the next time you go. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I'm glad I did. It just, it looks cozy to me. That's how I would describe it. It's a cozy sort of a plaid pattern. All right guys, so that's everything that I picked up from the dollar spot recently. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below if you have hit up the dollar spot recently. What goodies have you found? What have you picked up? I love going dollar spot hunting. I think it's so fun. So I'd love to know what you've been getting. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.